Hey guys, it's Kathy here. I hope you're doing well. So today I'm going to make a multi-page PDF built from a bunch of JPEGs of, art, of artwork that I did in Photoshop, flat JPEGs. So I thought I would take you along on the ride. So let's get started. First thing we're going to do is open up our Adobe Acrobat Pro. And Adobe Acrobat Pro is open, so I'm going to go to File, Create PDF. And then you have all these options here. We're going to go down to Merge Files into a Single PDF. We get this box which comes up. It asks us if we want a single PDF or a PDF portfolio. I would like a single PDF, please. So I'm going to leave that there. And we're also going to take a look before we bring in any files down here on the file size. So this, the first one, it's like the um, three little bears, right? Goldilocks and the three bears. This lowest resolution, I believe it's 72 DPI. I don't know for sure, but that's what I think it is. This one, I believe, is 150 DPI. Um, again, that's a guess, but it's an educated guess. And this one, ta-da, this is the one that we want. It's 300 DPI. It's the highest res that we're going to make here. And this is the one that we want because today I am making this PDF to copyright a mug release. And when you send your work to the copyright office, they want the best resolution possible. And 300 DPI is print resolution at 100%. So there you go. So now we're going to go to the upper left hand um, box and where it says add file. So I'm going to navigate to our files that we're going to put the JPEGs. These are flat JPEGs that I created the artwork in Photoshop. This is all of my Photoshop artwork. And I'm going to click on add files. So you see this pop this box is populated with all of my files. So I just deselected them all. Um, let's say that I want to move some of my files because they're in the wrong order. So I will just select them by hitting shift and clicking on them. And then I will move them up or down at will with using the buttons on the left like that. And now I think we're in good shape. We can combine our files and we can create our PDF. So now our PDF is created, and I'm going to name it Mug Release 2.11.17 Test 1. I'm going to hit Save on that. And as you can see, it's saving file down here in the lower right-hand corner. We can see it's saving. So now I'm just going to run through and see how cool my PDF is. I love to look at everything <laughs> all in the same PDF. It's so nice. So I'm going to save it again just to be extra, extra sure that it's saved. These PDFs can be weird sometimes. Just not want to save and if you name them wrong or something. So Okay, so now I'm going to close this. And I'm going to reopen it. Go back to Adobe Acrobat. I'm going to open recent file, mug release, test one. Now I'm going to go to advanced. Okay. I bet you're asking me why I just shut that file after I saved it and reopened it. It's because Acrobat can be finicky. It's because the next step that I'm going to do is I'm going to optimize the PDF. What that means is I'm going to compress the file information within the PDF using some tools in Acrobat. And what's going to happen is it's going to shrink the file size down while not changing the image quality or changing it very, 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 very slightly. Um, so slightly that you honestly wouldn't even notice. But this is a really good step to do. And Sometimes if you don't shut the file and reopen it again, um, Acrobat tends to get confused <laughs> and it won't save your file and, or at least on my machine it won't. So I like to be extra sure and shut it and reopen it again. 
So now I'm going to, I have my file open, I'm going to advanced. I'm going to PDF optimizer under advanced, dot, dot, dot. And here are the options I have. We have a box that comes up. We have images, fonts, transparency, discard objects, discard user data, and clean up. So the first one is images. Um, these sometimes default to different numbers. This is going to be a 300 DPI PDF. I don't want it anymore and I don't want it any less. So I am making it by cubic downsampling to 300 PPI for images above 300 PPI. So there's no, it's not going to get confused. And here you have the, um, you have the option of changing the quality. I'm leaving it at maximum because really I want this to be a really nice, sharp, good PDF at the, the smallest I can make it for being maximum quality. But your mileage may vary. You might want to change that up. Fonts. I don't have any fonts embedded. Um, I'm keeping this checked. Do not unembed any font because I actually did put a layer of text on my Photoshop JPEGs and sometimes we don't know how this magic happens <laughs> or maybe it's the opposite of magic but sometimes different software will put these little objects and these little invisible data in your files and it will bump up the file size unbeknownst to you and then you will end up with this gigantic PDF and you have no idea why it's so large and this PDF optimizer going through all these is going to help you with that. It's going to remove a lot of these objects and um, kick them out and dust out the room and clean up your PDF, flatten stuff that needs to be flattened and, and so everything's going to be great. So um, if you did have fonts you know, and you don't want them to be, you know, selectable and stuff, then you will go to do not unembed any font. Because we don't need the fonts. And, un, um, I'm confused now. Do not unembed. Okay. We don't need unembedded fonts. <laughs> this is all images that we're using here. Okay, transparency, low, medium, high. I'm actually going to turn this off just because my images are not transparent and I don't want to confuse, I don't want to confuse Acrobat <laughs> and make things harder on myself and add to the file size by having that option on. Um, the next one is discard objects. So just about all of these, I have a flat JPEGs, flat are JPEGs. There's no text um, that needs to be selectable. There's no, it doesn't need to be a fillable PDF. Um, so I am just, this is not, this is just strictly for um, images. So I am having all of these checked. And again, your mileage may vary if you have a different type of PDF that you are creating. But for the purposes of my PDF today, which is to copyright my work, my artwork with the Copyright Office and just have it in a multi-page PDF, all the art, I don't need any of this stuff. Discard user data is the next one. Yes, I am discarding user data. I didn't embed any information in my actual files. Um, if you if you did that, if you when if you were in Photoshop or in another um, software and you were building your images to bring in here and you had put in you know file information where you can do that in the software, um, you would want to. Um, make sure that you weren't going to remove that by having one of these checked. But that's basically what this is all about. And then the final one is clean up object. So I don't really know what's going on with this. I'm compressing document structure because that was the default and that seems to work for me. I don't usually mess with this. So then we have these options and I actually don't want to optimize the PDF for fast web view. So I'm going to turn that one off. The rest of it I think I can leave checked. So I'm going to hit OK now and hold my breath. And I'm going to name this one Test 2. I'm just changing the number at the end. So what I can do is go back and look and see how, how much I was able to reduce my file size. So mug release test two. 
and I'm going to save that. Okay, are you guys ready to see the fruits of your labor now? All that work we just did in Adobe Acrobat, I want to see how much it's going to pay off between test one PDF and test two PDF. We crunched our PDF, made the file size smaller, and now we're going to see what the numbers look like. So let's do that. So the mug release test one PDF, the original size of the PDF was 114.9 megabytes. That's a pretty hefty PDF. Hopefully we got the numbers down a little bit. So let's look at test two. Test two PDF. Oh my gosh, it's 46.1 megabytes. We have reduced the file size of this PDF over 100%. That's pretty awesome. Pretty awesome. But you know what? We need to check the quality of the PDF. We want to look at the quality in Acrobat and see the actual files and see if we have any weird little changes in the graphic. So on the top we have test one and I have this at 100%. And as you can see, it's nice and clean. It's as I intended. I like a little bit of a crunchy line. That's that's what I like, and this looks good. There's really no artifacting that Photoshop does when it blurs and squishes and messes up the little edges of your images, of your line. And now let's look at test two. This is the one that's over 100% smaller, and I honestly can't see a difference here. I'm going to make it bigger. This is over 100%. And this is not the way it's going to print because this is more than 100%. Sorry, every time I click on that, it turns blue. Um, but look at this. So this looks pretty much exactly the same. We're going to go back to 100% now. And they look identical to me. And we're artists, and we're very, very visually picky. So we're looking for this stuff. And these look great to me. So I say success. PDF optimization is the way to go. So that's it. That's how you take lots of flat JPEGs, turn them into a multi-page PDF, and then optimize it to crunch the file size while still maintaining the image quality. I hope you learned something new today and I welcome any of your comments, suggestions, feedback because there are lots of different things you can do, different recipes you can try within the PDF Optimizer and you know there's always more than one way to do something and um, the more we all know the smarter we're all gonna be. So I hope this has helped you and um, if you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel. I would love to hear your feedback and any videos that you might like to see. So I'm Kathy Weller signing off and I hope you have a great day. Thanks for watching. Bye.